of craft beer. Dipping my big toe into that world started when I moved to Colorado in 1996. Um, at that time, the term craft beer really did not exist. So how did we get to here? How did we get to opening a craft brewery? Um, you know, truly it was Chris's dream. Uh, Chris and I, since the day he was born, we've always connected very emotionally. His talents lie in areas that mine do not, and I'm able to cover those areas where he's not as strong in. So I'm definitely more the business side. He's more the brewing side, and our commonality is that we like to drink beer. So. I think our niche in the brewing community so far is fairly unique. Um, so we're sourcing our ideas and our recipes from the surrounding community and kind of making those ideas a reality. Uh, both Chris and I, um, we have master's degrees in education and kind of opening that world to people who maybe wouldn't uh, previously had that opportunity to either brew on a large system or have that opportunity to have input on a recipe that's served to the public uh, was something that was really important to us. So we are brewery um, on the surface, but a little bit of school underneath the surface as well. I think kind of our reasoning behind, you know, first getting into the Kentucky Common Ale has a lot to do with history. Uh, for the most part, it is extinct, um, but it was meant for the working class, uh, a super easy drinking kind of beer during Prohibition time. What we are making is an Imperial Kentucky Common. Uh, we love it because it's very smooth. Um, it is high in ABV, but it drinks really light. 